America's more divided than ever, and the base war is upon us. You know, at first I thought it was gonna be like bases like this, but now I'm thinking, I'm really thinking it's like, like clubs. I'm not gonna, let's be honest, I'm not gonna live very long in the base war. It's gonna be, gonna be pretty, pretty quick for me. Hey, how's it going? It's Brian from B's Music Shop. Today I've got the death by audio base war. This means war. Like Bugs Bunny. The bass war is DBA's brand new pedal. They say it's the ultimate distorted bass tone. Let's check it out together. Before we get going, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Those things make a huge difference to us. If we can get you a cat t-shirt, a cat toy, a cat pedal that goes meow, a cat pedal that does not go meow, but equally is pretty fun and cool, hit us up, beesmusicshop.com. Your support means all the difference to us. Today, I am playing my Epiphone EB3, my fun little, pretty affordable little bass. I like it. It's got a little, my little, little pickup over here. Got my little muddy bucker up here. Probably just play it in the middle. Uh, I think it sounds pretty cool for distortion stuff. So, you got it. All right, let's kick this thing on. This pedal is massive. This thing's like the size of an old school, like, Big Muff. Love it. All right. I can feel it woof. I can feel it huff. I can feel the whoo. Let's see what DBA says about it. The bass war is what we believe to be the ultimate fuzz bass sound. It brings classic fuzz bass sounds of yesteryear with more grind, massive tone sweeps, and floor shaking volume, all while maintaining your sub bass tones using the mix knob. This is bass at its best. Controls are volume. It's pretty straightforward. We got volume, controls the overall output level from infinite to plus 27 dB. 10 o'clock is unity volume, controls the gain of the fuzz from plus 16 to plus 64. Ranges from raunchy drive to smooth fuzz. We'll start it right about here. Tone sweeps a deep notch filter tune for a wide range of 98 hertz to 3.3 kilohertz. This radically reshapes the fuzz sound for a massive range of tones. That's 12 o'clock. Blends between your clean sound and the fuzz, the mix knob here. Blending in your clean tone helps your notes stay articulated, balanced, and bassy against the huge sound of the fuzz circuitry. Other than that, it runs off regular power. Deathbyaudio.com, handmade in New York City, lifetime warranty, oh, and alternative languages. I don't speak any of these a few of them i'm not even sure what they are that's neat all right let's check this thing out <laughs> i like this kind of stuff okay so that's let's just go like full out we'll bring in the clean later want this on an expression pedal. I just want to do that, probably. in some clean. Oh, this is like sag up. Right out there, you just hear that transistor like collapse. Let's give it just like the tiniest bits. So if I turn this, does this control my... No. I like that, you can 
put the mix knob like almost all the way down and just have it just kind of on top. Pick. I'm not much of a pick bass player. I just don't play guitar when I play pick. Like, that sounds fun. Reminds me of all my favorite parts about playing through an old fuzz box with a bass, but it's so tubby. Like, I just. I think of even the mix all the way up, it's still tubby.
It's fun. I like this pedal. Uh, it's huge. It's awesome. Death Bay Audio always makes like the coolest stuff. It reminds you of like old EHX pedals where like the knob, it, it, like the useful range, it was like Mike Matthews had the useful range and then he just made the knob go 10% farther in either direction. We'd be like, who would ever turn this knob here? It sounds weird and wild. And I feel like Oliver and the people there, their pedals are very usable, don't get me wrong, but they love that turning the knob too far. I feel like if I were to ask Oliver, he would always love how some pedals just go a little too far. Cause like, like right in here, like you can just feel the transistor sag and just destroy. And not everybody gives you the control to just literally destroy your audio quite like death by audio. And I love how they're always like their enclosures, they're spray painted. They're so handmade. You can just feel it. And it's always such cool stuff. I love them. I love what they do. They're the nicest people and they make so many fun audio destruction boxes if I had to put my my finger on it. And this thing's no different. What a cool pedal. So that's it. If we can get you a cat t-shirt, a cat toy, a cat pedal that when played through goes meow. A cat pedal that when played through does not go meow. Hit us up, beesmusicshop.com. Thank you so much for watching.